The following is transcribed directly from documents found in an abandoned German test lab by American soldiers during the aftermath of World War II, roughly translated into English. Audio Tape 1 Testing is to begin tomorrow. The team does not know what to expect. Our mission? To take up new research and turn it into a weapon for the war front. It has recently been discovered that the brain releases a chemical when feeling fear. For obvious reasons, this test could be extremely dangerous. Two test subjects have been selected, and from what we were told, they were sentenced to death, but instead are going to be used as subjects for this experiment. Subjects are given a table with two chairs, a cot with a mattress, a stocked bookcase, a notebook and a pen, and a bathroom area consisting of a toilet, a sink, and a mirror. Food and water are given through a small sealable opening. I have nothing more to report at this time. Written Document 1 Test subjects A and B have been given the chemical in a small dose, mixed with water. Test subject A consumed the water and showed no visible changes in mood or behavior. Test subject B, however, refused to drink the water, and he was forcibly given the same dosage but by direct injection. He gave some resistance but was easily controlled and injected. Shortly afterward, he seemed nervous, almost paranoid, and jumped whenever he heard sudden noises. Subjects have been told to try and remain active or sleep, just as long as they don't remain idle. Written Document Number 2 It took time, but we have developed a gas-based version of the chemical. If shown effective on subjects, this could become a very valuable weapon. Dosage has been increased slightly for both subjects. Neither subjects were aware that the chemical was being let into the room. After a few minutes, Subject A stopped reading and began to look around the room cautiously. After an estimated hour, he began to read again. Subject B immediately responded. He opened the textbook for the first time and wrote, What is going on? Stop whispering to me. I do not want to hear from you. Onto a piece of paper, ripped it out of the textbook, and slipped it under the door. No reply was given. Written document number three. We are going to observe the effects of long-term low amounts of the gas on subject A and we're going to observe the effect of a short but high amount of gas on subject B. The results are shocking to say the least. Subject A progressively became more unstable. He stopped reading, would not eat, and avoided the mirror at all costs. He suddenly became very aggressive and threw a heavy book at the mirror with surprising force, shattering it. Subject B's reaction was more... curious. He began staring at the second chair, but he was not looking at the chair. He was looking as if he was making eye contact with someone sitting in the chair. Something seems amiss, but we are definitely getting results. The Fuhrer will be most pleased. Voice Recording 2 We don't want this. What did we do to deserve vengeance such as this? Subject B has escaped from his cell. The chair he was staring at was thrown across the room straight into the viewing glass, instantly shattering it. It was five inches thick, reinforced. He, he didn't even touch the chair. He has escaped out of the hole made by the imp- <laughs> One final note was found. It seemed to be hastily written and was barely legible. This is what it was written. They are dead. Every one of them. I hear them in the walls. I hear them whispering to me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please come and take me away. I want no more of... Th and the note ends there. The rest too soaked in blood to read. On April 23rd of 1944, Allied soldiers found an abandoned German laboratory with its only door sealed shut. Using explosive charges, they forcefully entered the laboratory, wondering what was so important that the Germans had to lock it away. They found 13 bodies, 12 of which had matching lab coats on, mangled to pieces, and in one case, ripped straight in half. The 13th body had nondescriptive brown clothing and no head. 
A larger scale investigation was launched later by the Germans as to determine what had happened, but was cancelled after many German soldiers absolutely refused to return to the laboratory, even if they were threatened with their lives. To this day, nobody knows what happened to Subject B, but he is presumed dead.